Now that we know how to create inputs, let's see how we can use those inputs as conditions on our transitions. Let's explore this using this example. So what we have is a rectangle and then two pieces of text, one that says on and another that says off. Using those elements, we have two different states. We've got the on state, which has our on text set to 100% opacity, the off set to 0% opacity, and the rectangle set to a green fill. We also have the off animation, which sets the off text to 100%, the on text to 0%, and the rectangle fill to red. Now let's go back to the state machine and get things set up. As you can see, we already have the off state and it's hooked to the entry state. So when we turn the state machine on, that state plays. What we need to do is add the on state and then create a transition between the off and on states. Now, when we play the state machine, you'll see that we skipped over the off state and we're directly into the on state. So we need to use some conditions using inputs to actually control this transition. So let's go into the inputs panel and create a Boolean and we're gonna rename this Boolean and call it on. Now we wanna set up this transition so that when on is true, we go to the on state. And when it's false, it stays in the off state. Let's select our transition and add the Boolean. So we can select the transition and you'll see this little section here called conditions. This is where we can add a new condition and then add in our on Boolean. So you can see in this dropdown, any of the inputs that we've created, so in this case, the on Boolean, will be selectable. So once we select that, we can now say whether or not we want it to happen when it's true or false. Now in this case, we want it to happen when it's true. So what we have is that we're staying in the off state until the on Boolean is true, and then we'll go to the next state. So as you can see, we're sitting in the off state, and when we go and toggle on the Boolean, you'll see that our state will switch. Now what we're gonna do is create an additional transition so that we can get from the on state back to the off state. So let's go ahead and create that second transition from the on to off state. Then we can open that transition up and once again, add a new condition and we're gonna use our on Boolean again, but this time we're gonna change the value from true to false so that it will go from the on state back to the off state when that Boolean goes false. So here we go. When we check the Boolean true, we're in the on state. And when we uncheck it, we go back to the off state. Now let's use some of the stuff that we've learned in previous videos and add some duration between the two transitions. Let's give it a value of 300 milliseconds so that we get some sort of ease between the two. And when we play the state machine again, you can see that it slowly transitions from one to the other. Instead of using a Boolean, we could have also used a trigger or a number. So let's do it with a number. Let's create a new number input. And when the number is zero, we'll be in off. And when it's one, we'll be in on. So let's go into the conditions and delete our on Boolean condition. And we can do that by either right clicking and using the delete option, or we could use alt. And then let's go in and add the number input so that when our um, number is equal to one, we'll go to on, and then let's go back to the other transition and delete this condition. This time we can use the alt button. And there you go, we can hit the X to get rid of it. Let's add in that number and make sure that when it's equal to zero, that we go back to the off state. Now let's play our state machine and try this number out. So when we go to one, we go to the on state, and when we go back to zero, we go back to the off state. Now we don't always have to use the equal operator. In fact, there's a ton of different operators that you can use. So we have equal than, not equal than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or less than. So let's say for example, instead of using equal, we wanted to use greater than. So let's set our transition here so that when our number is greater than, let's say 10, what we can do is have that transition go from off to on. Now, when we play the state machine, we can enter in uh, one and you can see it doesn't change. But if we go to, let's say 11, then our transition will happen. Now let's go in and set up a trigger to cause these transitions. 
So let's add a new trigger and then rename it trigger on. And we can create another trigger. And this time we'll call this trigger trigger off. Now let's go into our transition and on the off to on transition, let's use a uh, trigger that we just created, the trigger on. And then on the other transition, let's get rid of this number input and use the trigger off condition. Now let's start the state machine and use our triggers. So the trigger on gets us out of the off state and into the on state, and the trigger off gets us from on to off. And we can use those to go back and forth.